Parents and teachers in Amherst rally together to try to save Heritage Heights Elementary School. And tonight their efforts paid off. The school board voted to keep the doors open. News 4's Emily Guggenmus was at this spirited meeting tonight. Emily? Jackie and Don, in a 5-2 to two vote, Heritage Heights Elementary will remain open. Board members who were in favor of it closing say it would have saved the district money and expanded programs at other schools. In a packed room, the Sweet Home School Board heard from parents passionate that Heritage Heights Elementary remain open. It's a final decision. It's not something that you can go back on. It's not something that you can reconsider. It's not something that you can rethink. The very last step should be to close a building, and I don't think that we are there. There were a few who spoke about why they felt the closure would be a good idea. It's going to make us more efficient. It's going to make us more effective. It's ultimately, I, think, I believe, it's going to make the district stronger. While many parents spoke, the most compelling voices, those of the elementary students the closure would directly affect. I don't want to close a school because this is like a family to us. And um, it, why would you take apart a family? It just makes work easier when you feel like you're with people you know. So please don't close Heritage Heights. The idea of their school closing bringing some to tears. I go to Heritage Heights and the teachers there are just great. Please don't close it. While others showing the impact of the teachers who help them become engaged in learning. Air molecules stay apart and never bump into each other and go really fast. In the end, five to two, the Sweet Home School Board voted to keep Heritage Heights open. I think in the future, it's going to come down possibly to close the school. But you got to understand, this is, this is not permanent. I feel so much better now. I, really I feel like I can finally get a good night's sleep. This They're going to continue to study it, which obviously is the right decision. The decision to, to not close isn't final. Um, but like I said, we'll see how it all plays out. And some board members say that they voted in favor of keeping the school open simply because they felt that there wasn't enough time to transition and consolidate to three elementary schools. Reporting live, Emily Guggenmiss, News 4 at 11.